What is up everyone? This video we're going to be talking about how to learn anything faster. Now for those of you who have seen my other videos, I generally do programming and you guys can probably figure out I'm not some kind of super genius. Yet I'm able to go through a lot of these concepts, understand them, and teach here on YouTube. So this video is going to basically break down how I do that and how you can learn anything faster and memorize it for long term storage in your brain. <laughs> All right, so this video is sponsored by Dot Tech Domains. This week with Black Friday, you can get huge savings on a Dot Tech domain, and you can benefit from these savings for up to 10 years of a registered domain. So if you wanna start your own website that ends in Dot Tech, do that this week and get lots of savings. I definitely recommend it. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So moving on, I'm gonna give you guys five tips to learn anything. Number one is stop fooling yourself. Often when I'm reading, I feel smart. You know, I feel like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but the reality is I don't get the knowledge from a book until I convert that into practical use cases. So if you're reading books for knowledge or watching videos on YouTube, you're going to have the feeling that you're learning <laughs> and the feeling that you're becoming smarter and more sophisticated in your studies. But the reality is that's not entirely the case. Yes, you might pick up on some good concepts and you might get some practice reading through some examples, but until I take the knowledge and the examples from those books and I convert that into something that makes sense for me, I'm not gonna learn much at all. And within a week, I'll forget 99% of everything I've read. So how exactly do we benefit from reading and watching videos on a particular topic? Well, what I do is I take all the information from those things and I convert them to a series of blog posts or a master document. So for example, here is a JavaScript document I've been working on. For me, learning JavaScript has literally just been going through JavaScript concept by concept and writing a blog explaining that to a beginner. So you could do that with a blog. You could check out the .tech domains. You could host your website using something like Bluehost. I'll leave a link for that in the description as well. And trust me, once you start taking these concepts and converting them into an active document you're creating that actually goes through the concepts step by step, then you're really gonna be solidifying that knowledge in your brain. And that brings me right into number two, which is teach. So rather than always being taught, you need to start teaching. Everything I do when it comes to learning, I'm always considering how can I teach this to someone else, which is why I create those documents and why I'm able to create these videos here on YouTube. If all you ever do is learn from people and you're getting taught, you're not gonna actually learn <laughs> until you actually take that information and teach it to other people. This is basically the Feynman technique, I believe is what it's called, where you take complex concepts, you break them down and pretend you're teaching them to someone who has no idea what they're doing. When you're reading a book, you'll think you understand the concepts, but once you try and explain those concepts to someone who really has no idea what you're talking about, maybe your parents, then more than likely you'll realize where you're lacking and what you need to focus on more. Those first two steps are basically the foundation for how I learn everything. <laughs> I don't believe I actually know something until I can prove myself by teaching that in a blog or in a video. The third tip though is to categorize information. So I believe our brain kind of works in buckets, right? And, and things make sense when you, can, when you can take something you've learned and put it in a bucket. So for example, if you're trying to learn all these programming languages, rather than just trying to memorize each language separately, maybe break them up into buckets. Hey, these are compiled languages, these are interpreted languages. Honestly, the way to break things up and bucket things, that's totally up to you. But anytime there is categories, I can promise you that your brain is going to be more effective. The reason this works is because when there's categories, there's less things your brain has to memorize as their own entity. So I can just think, hey, there's two types of programming languages. Then when I say that, one category can be memorized as its own entity and the other category can be memorized as its own entity. And then I don't have to try to memorize all the differences between all the different languages. And if that makes no sense, you just gotta try it. Trust me, it'll help. Now the fourth tip is to solidify concepts with examples. So when you're going through all these books and these learning things, they're gonna give you a lot of concepts. And these concepts really don't make sense because they're new to you at the beginning until you basically convert these concepts into practical knowledge through the use of examples. So keep going through examples over and over and over again until you no longer have to think about the concept you just understand. <laughs> Sounds like so weird. The whole concept of vocabulary works this way, right? So like if I was explaining, hey dude, this is a car and you've never heard of a car, you've never seen one in your life. <laughs> Every time I'm gonna say car, you're gonna be like, wait, what was that again? Or like, can you explain that? 
But then if I go to a car store and say, hey, here are all the different types of cars. You know, we have Hondas, we have whatever. Well, after enough examples, you no longer have to think about what a car is. You just know what a car is. <laughs> That's a really stupid example, but the same thing applies when you get into more complex concepts. Number four brings us right into number five, which is to practice regularly. So I am guilty in that I will study something for like an entire day and then go numerous days without studying. And I would actually advise against this and I'm actually trying to get into a more consistent pattern where I'm studying for a few hours a day or just developing every single day. And this is working for a lot of people. There's a lot of initiatives for coding, for example, on the internet, 100 days of code, 301 days of code. Basically the concept is rather than just studying every single day and trying to learn these concepts, actually apply these in developing on a daily regular basis so the stuff is always fresh in your brain. So to review, stop fooling yourself, you're a failure. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Stop fooling yourself, you're not as smart as you think you are. Two is to teach the concepts. Three is to categorize information. Four is to turn concepts into examples. And five is to practice those examples over and over, over time. Don't crash course for one day and then never look at it again. You can crash course, but then definitely go back and practice for a few days after that. And the bonus tip, which is to get sleep and try to stay healthy. This is one of the main things that I use to my advantage in school. And this is why I rarely studied more than like an hour for an exam. Because I was always well rested, I paid attention in school, and I practiced the material throughout the semester. So when the exam came, I already knew all the information. <laughs> I just had to refresh for an hour. So yeah, basically what I'm saying, if you follow all of these principles, your learning experience will be a lot better. You no longer have to feel like you learn everything and then you forget it two days later. Let me know what you guys think. What do you do to learn? How did you learn programming languages or spoken languages or other concepts? Tell me the tips that you use to succeed. That is all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to check out our sponsor, .tech Domains, who is making this content possible. <laughs> Thank you, peace out.